Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning update here, TFNN. And what we're looking at, folks, is a very strong stock market. We've got the Dow Jones up 300 points, S&P up about 70 handles, and we've also got the NASDAQ is also up about uh, 200 points. So this is what we like to see, very, very bad news and good market action. And they've been trying to tell us that for a few days that this might be coming because the market just wouldn't struggle on its way down. I mean, it was really, uh, uh, when I get to my show, will be coming up here. By the way, if you get a chance, uh, Bill Meridian will be my cameo guest at the beginning. He wants to talk to us about the bond market today. And then he will also be our guest on Monday. But getting back to the rest of the moves here, we had a down move in gold. We broke uh, 1910 last night, rallied up to 37, and then now we're back to 1919. Silver's been hit pretty hard, and also uh, the grains have actually held up pretty well. And so we're going to have some really interesting markets here, especially with crude oil, folks. We started the week at $72. We went down to 66, well, 65 and change. We rallied back halfway to around 68 and a half right now per barrel in crude oil. But uh, to think of just a few years ago, well, two year, well, a year ago when that war started, we were trading about 110. Here we are, almost half price. And everybody said that, uh, you know, oil, well, not everybody, but some of the big investment houses were saying we were looking at 120 to $140 oil. And that certainly doesn't uh, mean what, that's what's going to happen. But the thing that's running the market today, folks, has been the bond market. And uh, interest rates have, uh, you know, on the short end, have really come down quite a bit as a flight to quality. So those are just a few of the things we need to be talking about. But we're going to be looking at charts, folks, because... As a technician, I know how to do one thing, and that's how to draw a line from A to B, B to C, and C to D. And when you can do that, you got a slight edge on everybody else because they can lie to you, give you misinformation, but they can't hide from you because if they're buying, more prices are going up. They're selling, prices are going down. It's that simple. So let's keep that in mind. We've got to pay a few bills here for TFNN. So stay tuned for Fibonacci 24-7 with Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn.